markets, right? And I, I deal with this on Twitter all the time. There's definitely people who look at Bitcoin as like the currency that's going to be left when society collapses and it looks like Mad Max out there. <laughs> now, when you talk to boomers, though, I'm not sure that's going to resonate versus, yeah. oh, it's a new digital goal. That's how Larry Fink positions it. How do you talk to them about this? Do you go as far as like, hey, this is a hedge against like the collapse of society? Or are you more just like, hey, look, it's a little hot sauce. It's an interesting currency. A lot of smart people are involved. Like, how do you uh, talk about it? Yeah, I think two things can be true here, right? I do view it in its most simplistic form as digital gold, as a digital store of value. Now, granted, store of value and the price action of Bitcoin might not go hand in hand. But also, you know, the room for alternative investments in a portfolio, I think clients are always seeking for things that aren't, you know, correlated or have the ability to produce alpha, you know, to a degree. These are things that clients will always have, you know, some appetite for. So these two things like, hey, new asset class, can I, you know, partake in this, maybe knock the FOMO out of the system? And will this actually add value to my long-term investment strategy?